Hey, what's going on guys? Richie Fix here back with another video and today I don't know what is going on in the Marvel Legends world, let alone the toy world. Just this week alone has been just an explosion of different toy news across multiple lines. So very, very cool. Uh, it's getting very, very busy in the toy world and then it's not going to be slowing down anytime soon as SDCC is continuously just getting closer and closer as that starts I believe in early july so just about a month and a half away and uh here we are marvel legends dropping another bombshell this morning what did we get movie carnage so we have a lot of photos i have my thoughts and opinions we'll take a look at everything and we'll see what's going on let's take a look let's take a look at the first photo here just an inbox shot of the venom carnage um, yeah, the movie Venom Carnage. We got a little breakdown here from MarvelousNews.com over here on X. Prepare your collection, Marvel fans, because Carnage is coming. Inspired by Venom, Let There Be Carnage, Marvel Legends series. Carnage is over eight and a half inches tall. Can you say mega figure? My goodness. Uh, features a unique tendril design and six accessories, including an alternate head, three detachable pack tendrils to destroy all who stand in his way, which are perfect for posing this figure on your shelf to showcase his wrath alongside collectible window box packaging featuring movie-inspired package art. Available for pre-order on Wednesday, May 15th at 1 p.m. Eastern from our sponsors Big Bad Toy Star and Entertainment Earth. Now, it's not to say that it won't show up on Hasbro uh, or Amazon. That's just all they mentioned in that particular article. But eight and a half inches, a big boy. Let's take a look at some more photos. Next photo here, just a picture of Carnage outside of the packaging. And as you can see, this one is not, I mean, this, what is, what, what is going on here? Is this the same Hasbro that we've been dealing with? Is this the, I mean, can I say that Jada maybe inspired some of the, I don't know, umph in the toy in the toy world maybe because everyone has been talking about jada and what they provide at a price point now i'm assuming that this has to be a deluxe figure it being at eight and a half inches and all these accessories probably looking at like a 49.99 price tag but i just the the effort that i'm seeing from hasbro was it inspired by jada i'd like to say that they at least had some sort of motivation in that aspect but taking a look at the head sculpts the, the screaming head sculpt with the tongue looks great. The face looks great. Everything here, look at the art. This looks like a new articulation, a whole new sculpt. Looking phenomenal here. My goodness. Do I need three? I might need three. Taking a look at the next photo here, just Venom all decked out in his accessories. As you can see, he's got the blade hand. He's got the tendrils that have all sorts of different uh, sculptings on the end of the tendrils. Man, this figure is looking epic. I mean epic, and when it looks epic, and it's going to be as articulated as it looks, and it's going to be at, you know, a relatively decent price point compared to, like, some of the imports, you know this thing is going to fly off the shelves. If you don't pre-order first day, this one might be hard to get. Here, just a standalone photo of Venom without any of the accessories. This thing looks good enough that you could actually have this be a comic book carnage, or at least put it in that realm. The only thing that I don't like about these carnages that they didn't adapt in the movie and in the Target uh, exclusive carnage that was uh, announced earlier. And also interesting, we're getting two carnages within months of each other, maybe even weeks, depending on when they, uh, when they actually set to release. They did not adapt the black teeth. To me, the black teeth and over the white or yellowish teeth is just so much more menacing, more demonic looking to me. That might just be a personal preference, but I love when he has the black teeth, man. He just looks like a next level demon, murder mode carnage. But I'm not going to lie, this head sculpt here looks awesome. And yeah, I mean, this one, I'm digging a little bit better than the comic book Venom Carnage. Granted, it's a different, you know, carnation. A uh, different, you know, a different carnage altogether as he's in the movie compared to the comic. But man, this just thing, it's next level and I'm excited and I can't even gather my words here. Alright guys, taking a look at this next photo here. Just a back shot of carnage and the plugins that you can put in of the accessories. Really the only thing that I could see that could be a potential con of this figure is that he will have holes that in his back, kind of similar to the Venom with the... Uh, what was that guy's name? Null. The, the Null Venom 2-pack where Venom had wings. 
he does have a bunch of different plugins here so how bad they and ugly they actually are you know you don't how often do you actually look at the back of a figure unless you're doing some sort of you know figure t photography or something like that yeah i mean it's a small price to pay for how cool this thing's gonna look in my opinion but could there be some like regular back end plugs yeah but then we're looking at maybe a bigger price tag so i'm all right with this but potentially the only con i could see with the figure as of right now let's taking a look at the last picture here at carnage it's just another promotional shot with all his accessories on man this thing looks so good oh man hasbro i gotta give it to him man this they have been kicking ass and taking names this year really stepping up their game granted uh you know, last year was not the greatest year, in my opinion, for Hasbro as far as figure releases. Just a lot of letdowns, a lot to be desired. But this year, with the Venom, with the Wolverine packs, with two now Carnages coming out, with more, you know, 85th anniversary collections, um, the Hulkbuster is set to be released. Like, there's just so many cool things. My wallet's going to be hurting, but for all the good reasons here, I mean, this thing looks next level. <sighs> Let's finish off with the overview. Alright guys, and that is going to be the overview that everything we know about the new movie Venom Carnage coming out. And man, this thing is looking next level. Like I said, I'm kind of in awe in what Hasbro is doing so far. Just a total 180 of production, of quality, of amount of, you know, popular figures that we've seen from this year to last and I am just super, super excited. I th I was excited for the comic book one that Target's going to be releasing here uh, within, I think it's like a month or so. But, uh, yeah, I mean, just everything, the accessories. This does look to be a deluxe figure. So, let's go over what we know so far. So, pre-order is going to be up May 15th, which is next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. It looks like it's going to be on Big Bad Toy Store Entertainment Earth. I would expect Amazon to also get this as well. Does it mean it's going to be in the stores? I would think so. I This thing is going to just be flying off the shelves, in my opinion. This thing looks as good as an import. Again, this is all subjective in my opinion, but I feel like I have an eye for quality, and uh, this thing is right there with the, I mean, this thing kicks the Venom movie figure's ass, but granted, that figure is now just a little bit older, but this thing, <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited for it. I didn't even like this movie that much, but just the way that he looks, and they got the head sculpts on point, and man, it is just, look at that box, too. That's crammed in there. When's the last time you've seen a Hasbro box that crammed with accessories? Is Jada influencing, you know, these other companies to step up their game a little? I'd like to think that they are, in my opinion. I, you know, I don't know for sure that they are, but it would seem to be that way as Hasbro has just been, they've ripped off the gloves and they're swinging this year. They're swinging for the fences and I'm all for it. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, this should be uh, next Wednesday. This goes up for pre-order at 1 p.m. Eastern, May 15th. Price tag on this was not announced, but if I had to guess, I would say... As cheap as $29.99, but probably looking closer to that $35.99, $45.99, maybe even as high as $49.99. But for everything that it comes with, would $50 be a little much? I'd like to see it closer to $40, but if it was $50, I really, you know, what's $10 extra bucks? I don't know. But to some, maybe that's everything. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below what the price of this figure should be. Are you going to be getting this figure? Do you collect movie lines? This one, to me, I think can swing both ways. If you wanted to make it a comic venom, or excuse me, a comic carnage, you could, but eight and a half inches. Good God. Never mind. I don't know that you could with that size, but man, this thing is cool. I'm excited, as you can tell. I've talked too much. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Richie Figs. Later.